This external hard drive belongs to a game developer and out of nowhere it stopped working. All of his game project files are on this hard drive so let's see what we can do. When we put our ear to the drive we can hear it spin but we don't hear any weird noises. So let's diagnose this hard drive. First we need to remove the PCB and unlock the ROM. This will allow us to access the hard drive's service area. So let's read the ROM and then unlock it in the PC3000 utility. Then we can write the ROM back onto the drive. Now Next, we can't work with this hard drive through USB, so we need to convert to SATA. First, we need to remove these four capacitors and this crystal. This will stabilize the SATA connection. Then we can solder the four data lines, power and ground. After all this, now we're ready to diagnose the drive. Let's plug in the drive and it still doesn't initialize. Let's separate the reading heads from the PCB and force it into kernel mode. Then we can try uploading a loader to the RAM and initialize the drive. And nope, we still can't access the drive which means the reading heads can't read so we'll need to replace the reading heads inside the drive we need to find a compatible donor drive from our stash and then transfer the good reading heads into my customers drive so let's open the hard drive in a dust free chamber and right away we can see some small scratches on the top platter but let's continue with the head swap and transfer some good reading heads into this drive let's plug the drive in and say our prayers and boom now the drive initializes but the drive is acting super slow when backing up the service area. I stopped what I was doing here and backed up the translator first. The translator tells the drive where the data is and if we lose that, we're toast. After backing up the translator and modifying some firmware to speed up the drive, the freaking translator ended up becoming corrupt. And when we go to sector edit, we can see that all the sectors are zeroed out, which means the drive believes there's no data. But luckily we made that backup of the translator and we're able to upload the translator to the RAM. And now when we check sector edit, we can see that there's data on the drive. Let's open data extractor and boom, now we can see all of his files. Now we can image the drive and after replacing the reading heads four times, we're able to recover all of his data except 28 megabytes. If you need something recovered, the link's in the bio. Peace.